He may no longer be a player. No one was hotter than Tracy Lords. Well, all girls can act a little. But with me, it's different. There was just one problem. Tracy was only 15 when she started in porn. Now, six years after being caught, Tracy is trying to clean up her act. I refused at 18 to believe that my life was over. The script is in. Chicago, we're coming to you first. Audio check, one, two. Then to L.A. You see, Tracy had started in the business when she was just 15 years old, and now she's trying to put her life back together. Rick Kirkham with our story. When I looked through the camera, I saw cold fire. She is, without a doubt, the most popular triple X-rated movie star of the 1980s, and quite possibly the most infamous queen of the sex screen ever. Born Nora Kuzma, Tracy Lords made the transition from an innocent 12-year-old school kid to a national sex fantasy in just three years, beginning her hardcore sex career at only 15 years old. I was just a young girl that thought that I was going to die before I was 21, and who cared what happened? That was really how I was. Little Nora Kuzma adopted her Tracy Lord screen name at an age when most little girls are just getting their first kiss. She took the first name Tracy from her best friend and Lords from her childhood crush on Hawaii Five O's Jack Lord, adding the S at the end of the name to make it unique. But uniqueness when it came to Tracy Lords didn't end with just the name. The film itself graphically shows Miss Lords, uh, who was a minor, engaged in a variety of heterosexual and homosexual acts. It wasn't a career decision. I never, ever said, I mean, I was 15 years old. I didn't wake up one morning and say, okay, I'd like to be a porn star today. It wasn't like that at all. I was a young girl. I was with the wrong people. And I started experimenting with drugs, and they led to bigger and bigger drugs. Her young face and voluptuous body also led this high school sophomore's video sexcapades to become the most rented videotapes ever. Yet, while attending Redondo Beach High School, she kept her illicit extracurricular activities a secret. Like most other normal teenagers, Tracy Lords often depended on the neighborhood video store for her inexpensive weekend entertainment. However, Lords or Nora Kuzman, as her friends knew her at the time, had a very special problem in visiting this video store located a few miles from her high school. A former employee of the store tells Inside Edition that even as an underage teenager, Lords had to go to any and all means to keep her boyfriends from wandering into the adult section, realizing full well that it was her young face that could be found on the most popular X-rated videos. However, it was unrealistic to believe Lord's secret could be kept from all of her classmates for very long. Dan, also a Redondo High student at the time, who has asked that his last name not be revealed, remembers well his discovery of his fellow classmates' well-paying after-school job. I walked in and my buddies were watching a porno movie and I just kind of I kind of smiled and said what is going on and they said well we rented this because uh, the, uh, Nora Kuzma is in it otherwise known as Tracy Lords and I go wow that's that's pretty uh, pretty funny <laughs> From age 15 to 18, Tracy Lords made some 75 hardcore porn films. And though her salary for each started at little more than a waitress might make in a week, the phenomenal appeal for her lusty antics on tape quickly put more money in Lords' pocket than some bank vice presidents make in a month. Early on, she was paid uh, approximately $500 for a day's shoot. And as she became more popular, that escalated to as much as $5,000 per shoot. At 15 and a half, Tracy's porn career was just beginning to peak. Using a fake driver's license that suggested she was 22 years old, Lords landed the centerfold spread in Penthouse Magazine. The sexy layout was one of the most sought after ever. Lords was fast becoming the biggest name in sex since Linda Lovelace. But as her mass popularity in porn films grew, so did Tracy's drug habit. She had also disassociated herself from her family. But when it came to taking off her clothes and turning on the cameras, Lords was a pro. She was tough. She knew exactly what she wanted to do. And when she showed up on the set, it was always on time. She would be sober. She knew her line. She knew what she had to do. She would make suggestions. She was a consummate professional. By the time I was 18, I had already, you know, gone through the whole thing with the x rated films. You know, I had a serious drug problem that I was an emotional mess. But the one thing I was certain of was that I decided that I wanted to be an actress. 
It was at that time, just after her 18th birthday, that Tracy Lord's name exploded from the credits of her porn films and into newspaper and television reports across the country. Though no one knows who blew the whistle, it was revealed to authorities that all of Tracy Lord's porn films had been shot while she was a minor, legally making those films child pornography. Authorities rushed in to confiscate the tapes from store shelves across America, and Lords used her then notorious name to launch a legitimate acting career. I just wanted to be taken seriously. I mean, as far as intelligence goes, I'm not a stupid woman. You know, I'm, I'm not particularly proud of my past. I'm not, but I refused at 18 to believe that my life was over. Now 24 years old, Lords has four legitimate movie roles under her belt. Lord's only notable film role being the sultry sex pot Wanda in John Waters' cult hit Cry Baby, a role in which Lord says she modeled the character after her own notorious image. Dad, would you just leave me alone? When I was creating the role of Wanda Woodward, I actually went to the library and got everything that was ever written about me, all the things, and I just basically mocked what everybody said. Tracy Lords is currently working on her fifth legitimate movie, hoping the comedy Tracy. Nutty Nut may finally be the role that brings her some legitimate fame. I do think she's going to make it as a legitimate actress. I think she's got to fight harder for it, but then in some ways she has the notoriety, which is a little bit of a springboard. At least people want to see her. They want to know who she is. I don't see myself as a sex symbol. I, I, I know who I am, and that's not how I see myself. I can understand why I'm thought of that way, but it's not something that I personally try to project. Still, for the actress that once had no limitations, Tracy Lords is now forced to limit herself in what she can and cannot do on screen in her efforts to establish a legitimate career. Tracy's the only actress that can't take off her blouse, even if Fellini asked her to be in a movie. Tracy Lords' new movie will be out in video next month. When we come back, we'll tell you about a new Masters and Johnson poll and how you can get involved.